Okay, why you have to stop pulling people out of the river and go upstream and find out why they're falling in. Kind of a big title that, but look, when I was younger, I used to rescue people. Someone used to call me Rowan the Rescuer. And I think um, I used to kind of, in a way, feel sorry for people and want to help people and kind of feel good that I could help people. But as I've got older, I know that doesn't work. And we need to attract people in our business and our life that are in, that are in good shape, that, that need, don't need our help. They might need work or they might need they might need something, but not to rescue them, not to save them, not to... I'll give you an example. Someone asked me this week if I would hold them to account because um, they want to get fit and they want to stop drinking and things like that. So they're going to, for 30 days, not drink alcohol. And they asked me, would you like to help me, hold me to account so I don't drink alcohol. And I go, yeah, that's fine. And then I made this list of everything I wanted them to do. Send me your weight on the scales. Send me um, what you eat, how much exercise you do, and whether you drink alcohol or not. And then the next day, this person rings me up and says, you know, all I want you to do is to hold me to account for not drinking alcohol. And then it kind of slapped me right in the face. It was like, yeah, just give him what they want. I don't have to save him. I don't have to help him in areas he doesn't want help. He wants help in the area of not drinking alcohol. So that was a great lesson for me and I'm grateful. It's like too many times we try to help people and in areas they don't even want to be helped. So stick to the stick to the main game what is it that when people come to you what is it they want and can you help them with that you don't have to go and rescue them and save them from themselves so they don't even want that ciao for now